Maths with Niall. Today we'll be doing division. Hi Niall. We'll be doing division. Let's start with those counters that you have there. How many counters do you have? Eight. Eight. So what does it mean if the question is eight divided by two? How many lots of two are in eight? Very good. So can you use the counters there to show us eight divided by two and then give us the answer? So we'll be doing how many lots of two are in eight. Mm -hmm. So I'll put them in groups like this. And how many groups do we have? Let's check. One, two, three, four. So that means eight divided by two equals four. Very good. So that's what division means, putting it into groups. Yes. What about eight divided by four? 8 divided by 4. So if we have 4, if we Can have... Can you show us with the counters? Okay. So what are you actually doing? Um, I'm just putting them into 1, 2 groups of 4. Okay, so 8 divided by 4 is 2 because you can, you can get 2 groups of 4 in 8. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So that's just a reminder what division is. Now you have your multiplication grid on the left. Can you also do division with that? Yes. So if I wanted, stand to the side a bit, if I wanted to ask a question, 20 divided by 5, how would you use the grid to show us? Use your fingers, 20 divided by 5. First you have to find 20. So find the 5, that's it, stand to the side so we can see what you're doing, and you go across and you find the 20. 20. That's it. So because we're dividing by 5, you have to look at the 5 times table, and then what do you do to find the answer? You have to go up. Good. And the answer is 4. Very because good. Because when I go up, we get to 4. Very good. So using that same method, using the grid again, what about 45 divided by 5? 45 divided by 5? So go to the 5 times tables. 5. Yes, go across until you find 45. 45 divided by 5 equals 9 because I went up and it has a 9 at the top. So it equals 9. Okay, very good. So you have different ways you can do division questions. Yes. Yeah. Today we're going to do some worded division questions. So can you take those counters off the board? How many lots of two are in 18? Okay, so how are you going to work this out? Well, there's multiple ways. I find the easiest way is to half it. Okay. So half of 18 equals 9. Okay, 9 is correct. Can you do another way for me? Can you count up in twos on your fingers? Okay. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And I also got 9. So that means it's correct. Okay, brilliant. Each car can take five children to the cinema. How many cars are needed to take 35 children to the cinema? Okay, what are you going to do, Niall? I'm going to count up on my fingers to 35 in fives. In fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So how so many? 7. So what would the division, the number sentence be? It will be... 35 divided by 5 equals 7. Excellent. Very good explanation, Niall. How many 5p coins do you need to make 60p? Okay, so before you start explaining what you're going to do, what is the number sentence? The number sentence is... Um, which one? 60 divided by 5 okay, so equals, you're going to see, yes, very I good. don't know. Okay, so what are you going to do? I'm going to count up on, in 5 to 30 yes. and then I'm going to double the amount. Oh, that's a very, very clever way. Can you just do the 60, can you do your way and then verify it by counting up to 60? Okay. Okay. 
So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Mm -hmm. 6 plus 6 equals 12. So you think the answer is 12 yeah. using your method. So should we check how many 5's go into 60 on your yeah. fingers again? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Okay, so you're correct. It is 12. Very good. So that it was my method that works. It, it did work. Well done. There are 30 students in a class. Each desk can hold 5 students. How many desks are needed? So what's the number sentence? 30 mm -hmm. divided by 5 equals blah blah blah. Blah blah blah? Yeah. I'm sure 30 <laughs> divided by 5 does not equal blah blah blah. Uh, can you use your multiplication grid for this one? Okay. Um, what number is it? 30 students. Divided by 5. So can you stand to the side and can you explain? I'm going to go here until I get to 30. Yes. And then I go up and it's 6. It's 6. Very good. So 30 divided by 5 equals 6. 6. So how would you answer this question in a worded answer? 6. 6 what? 6 students. Six students, six desks. Six desks are needed for thirty students. Very good. That's it. Okay. How many ten p coins would be needed to make three pound twenty? So how many ten p coins would be needed to make three pound twenty? So what's the method you're going to use? First, we have to see how many um. 10 p coins would go into one pound, so a hundred pence. Okay, so how are you going to work that out? On my fingers. Mm -hmm. I think I have enough fingers. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 18, 90, 100. So how many? 10. Okay, so, so 10. So 10 times 3, because it's 3 pounds, equals 30. Okay, very good. So what you're saying, for in one pound you have 10 10 p's. Yeah. So in three pounds, you times the 10 by three, so you have 30. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then tw 10 goes into 22 times. Mm -hmm. So that means 32. 32. So you would need 32 P. 10 p coins. Yeah. To make three pound 20. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, I agree. 105 people need to go to the theatre. Each bus holds 10 people. How many buses are needed? So that's a tricky one. Yeah. Um, any ideas? Yeah. So well, first we have to work out how many times 10 will go into 100. So... And then we just had one more because five doesn't take up a, a whole bus. Oh, that's so. interesting. So work out how many times the 10 goes into 100 first. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So you're saying you're going to need 10 buses yeah. to take 100 people. Okay. But 105 people. So what are, you, what are you going to do now? Just add one more bus because... So how many buses would we need? Ten and a half. We can't have half a bus, <laughs> can we? <laughs> Let's cut it in half and drive no, it not, away. That's not going to work. How many buses do we actually need? Eleven. Eleven. But that last bus is not going to be full, is it? No. Okay, but we need, we do need the whole bus, okay? Aww. Yeah. How many? Five-a-side football teams can you make with 47 people? So if you don't know what five-a-side means, it means like how many teams could you make with five people? So five-a-side means five people in a team? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you make want to see how many five-a-side teams you can make if you have 47 people? Yeah. Okay. Um, are we going to do that on the grid? You can do it wherever you like. Okay. And what number are you looking for? 47. Hmm. So can you explain what you're seeing? 
There's no seven because five only ends in a f five times table only ends in a five or a zero. Okay, so that's good to know. So what number does five go into that's close to forty-seven? Forty-five. Forty-five. Oh yeah. Wait. So if we do forty-five, how many times does five go into forty-five? Yes. And seven doesn't have so two teams. Let's start with how many times five goes into forty-five. How many times five goes into forty-five? Five goes into forty-five. Nine times. Nine times. So what does that tell you? If five can go into forty-five nine times? Um, that... How many five-a-side full football teams can we have? Nine teams. But we have forty-seven people, we don't have forty-five. So what does that mean? We have two remainders. So what would happen? We can't use it. We can't make that a team because it doesn't have five people. Exactly. So we'll just um, get those... Um, two pe two people, and chuck them in the bin. <laughs> in the bin? Yeah, Maybe, maybe the they bin. can just sit on the bench. No, in the bin <laughs> would be better. <laughs> You're so crazy. 70 divided by 10. 70 divided by 10 equals 7. Very good. What's 70 divided by 5? 70 divided by 5 equals 14. Very good, Naya. Okay. 50 divided by 5. 50 divided by 5 equals 100. What? <laughs> no, 50, 50 divided by 5? Um, How many 5s and 50? Oh, 10. <laughs> okay, 16 divided by 2. 16 divided by 2 equals 13. No. What? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in your head today? Exactly. <laughs> Twelve divided by two. Twelve divided by two equals. Please six. say six. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> what is two hundred divided by ten? Two hundred divided by ten equals two. No, wait, no, 20. Okay, what is 500 divided by 10? 500 divided by 10. We just take a zero off, Niall. 50? Yes. Yes, when you divide by 10, you can just get rid of one of those zeros. Yep. Okay, that comes to the end of the lesson. Bye, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, subscribe now. Don't forget to leave that like button. Bye! Hello, welcome to Math with Noel. Today we'll be doing division. <laughs> do the shimmy, do the shimmy. Oh yeah!